Hey guys, it's Bino, and welcome back to Let's Play Strife. In the last part, we uh, went into the uh, power place and then we totally sneaked it. <coughs> and may have used our rocket launcher a little bit too much, but for the most part, it's alright. Uh, and this part, we gotta go to the castle, which is here. Not here. Not here. There's actually a force field over there, and actually it's not up right now, it's a bit weird. Uh, let's go over here. Okay, duck this in guy. here. The sewer dwellers are horrible mutants, but their network of tunnels gives them access to secrets. Hold your nose, we're going down. Okay. This guy's just like, oh. The sewer overflow gate. So by this point, the switch actually opens, and we can drop down into this. Which has now led us into the sewer. He calls himself the Rat King. I'm sure it's descriptive as well as colorful. So yeah, and we don't have a lot of bullets, which I've noticed. Uh, I'm stuck to using the rocket so much. Uh, there's also like little things. Use the poison darts. Poison darts are always good. They're your friends. So we'll kill this guy and we get an ID card. A different ID card. Um, and I believe if we push the switch, something happens. The door is open, even better. Nice. Alright. Alright, I'm just gonna run this one. Oh, yuck, I don't even wanna think about what you're stepping in. What are you stepping in? So yeah, the sewer level isn't too bad in this one, but it's a lot of like opening doors and just kind of walking about. All that stuff. Now you can actually grab the grenade launcher at this point, which is kind of neat. And the grenade launcher, uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world to use. Let's use it to hit these guys. It's effective, Let, let's just say that, but it's, yeah, it's not easy. Also this tranquilizer, you're thinking the electricity one like works, it's not that effective. Uh, I'm also gonna equip one of these. Because we're gonna need that. Uh, if you hop down here, you can jump along to a bunch of... This is a spot. <laughs> Just completely tank that hit. Uh, you hear that? <laughs> and, and then the guy's like, nope. Uh, I believe we just had to activate, like, a switch. Uh, excuse me, do you mind if I could get past it? Okay, sure. Just do that instead. Just what I need. More brown goo. It's really hard to hit the guys on the ceiling with, like, projectiles. So I believe if we hop down in a bunch of places, in, like, in this direction, Oh, yeah. We gotta figure out how to get past here. So I believe we hop down here and here's a neat little door and it leads back up to this ledge. Okay. Dude, what is with the, the ground hitting right now? Actually, I think it's up here. There we go. Yeah. I hate to say it, but this reminds me of home. I'm underground, not that far from here. Hello, underground, not that far from here. And these guys are like, ah, we're beggars. Beggars can't be choosers, but I, I think they, you know, I'd best if they got something else, you know, maybe, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so if you head in here, more environmental suits and all this beautiful stuff. But, uh, there's a guy in here and he's all like, ah, a surfacer in need of a favor. Down here you do a favor to get a favor. I need the town entrance that is our path to food opened. The order has it sealed and guarded. Okay. Do my favor first, or you will get squat from me. Everybody is so needy. Bring me back the guard's uniform. That way, one of my red fellows can wear it, and no one will try to shut the door again. Great. Now we're shopping for the Rat King. That, that's a pretty flawless plan if I've heard of one. Open the door, bring me the uniform, and we trade. Otherwise, peace off. 
I bet this guy smells really bad too. The judge, look at all this money he's got here. What do you mean? You can afford a little bit of food, can't you? A little bit, right? Do they not sell any? Bit weird. Uh, so I guess uh, with that, you want to head this away. Not this away. Not this away. All right. <laughs> this is when you query the map and you go, hmm, where is the the next uh, part of map that I haven't stood on? You know. I think up here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, there's two doorways there, and it's a little bit confusing to figure out, like, which one. Uh. I'd use that environmental suit. It, it's a. <laughs> this green flashing indicator is not the best thing in the world to, like, tell you, like, oh, look, I'm poisoned or something. I think it's this way. Uh, not the napalm, the, uh, sorry, not the napalm, the grenade. Sorry. Open the door, get on the floor. That is a very slow moving lift. Oh, where's the things? Here they are. The sewer level. Everybody loves a good sewer level, don't you know? And anyway, we're back in the town. You may be like, what? But uh, we can go up to this guy and he's all like, Who on the boys are you? And you can kill him. And he drops his uniform. There's also a nice little doorway here, back into the main area. And really, you couldn't do this? Like, you couldn't just knock on the door and just like completely beat this guy out? Sure. So anyway, so we can head back in and uh, I believe we need to talk to the guy. His flashing quest objective markers indicate so. We'll go back down the lift and we'll just do a huge long run back. Now, you may be wondering what's in this door and up this lift. I believe that's the next area of this part. So, oh, except we did the long walk around. Get off. <laughs> I know the, the walk around is just like. Ugh. There, nope. nope. And yeah, up here. <laughs> I know, it's just wandering these places like ah. And he's in here. You can tell he's important because he's got a door. <laughs> Have you brought me what I want? Good. Here's something extra. My fellows tore this off of a foreign crusader. It's the parts that make up a flamethrower. Now Irari can make one for you. You can have such fun. You have to enter another part of the sewers. To get there, you must enter the castle from a sewer maintenance door and drain the fluid reclamation tank. At the bottom is the hidden entrance to sewers. And right behind that is the manual gate control. More sewers, great. Wonder what lives down there. Good luck. I've opened several of our tunnels for you. It should make your task easier. Oh, size 10. Perfect. But red for colors. The same colors as your shirt. I don't understand this guy. He's a bit weird. A little bit weird. But uh, anyway, now we've got a... Uh, he, he also really... Could he have just open some doors for us? I mean, we're on the same team here. I don't know. Uh... But I guess with that, we're not ending the part off, but I think we go up here. Now he also gave us parts for a flamethrower, which is kind of interesting because uh, you may be going like, ooh, flamethrower. And yes, the flamethrower is a very ooh thing. But uh, if we head up here, we'll notice that there is, excuse me, Mr. Man, I'm going to want your ID card as well. Is it the same ID card? Maybe. I think it's K. Keys, yeah. Yeah, I know different like key guards for like all the parts of the game. Like we're not going back to a lot of areas of the game, but yeah. alright. Uh well there seems to be a flashing beacon over there on the right, so let's go over there. Uh if we can figure out how. How to get there. 
would it really kill for like the compass icon, you know? I mean, I guess they got the map, but it's just like, I don't want to keep hitting tab and everyone goes like, oh, you keep hitting tab, you keep looking at the map. Uh, up here, yeah. I don't like hanging around that area. This guy really didn't want to hang around either. Sucks for him. Now there's a teleporter here, but I don't believe we want to get into the teleporter. Metal suit, I guess. Uh, that's a thing. Down here? Yeah, yeah it's down here. Ah! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Look at that! It's painful, and you can't deal with them without like the machine gun. It's dreadful, I know. Sometimes they take more hits than you're expecting as well, which is a bit weird. Uh, why is that not opening? Why is that open? I don't know what happened there. Oh, rockets! Duh, it's supposed to press the button. There we go. Okay, so now we're in the castle. Now, we're not going to be here for too long because it's mostly just like a one-off thing. Especially you may be looking at going area seven. Whoa. Again, no stealth. Who needs stealth when you've got a rocket launcher and parts for a flamethrower? Also, outdoor environments, they're kinda neat. I think this game looks quite nice when you're in outdoor places, mainly because the uh, veterans edition of this game, uh, which by the way, the guy who did the, the like, who reverse engineered the Doom 64 like ROM to work on PC natively. That guy's beautiful. And they actually got this guy to work on doing lighting effects and stuff for this game, which is really neat. There's another way into the sewers, throw the switch, and then go up and purge the reclamation tank, okay. So we'll hit the switch. And that I believe opens this area where we can flip that down. Yeah, go on downtown. And you can head back in here, which goes back into the sewers, but you're in a different part of the sewers, so it's okay, I guess. Get that environmental suit. Why is it not working? <laughs> See, I, like, it's a bit weird. Didn't we pass that brick? No. No. Except you've got a map. Even in the original version, you have a map. Hello. So we'll just keep going, I guess. Oh, excuse me, door. Sprite door. So fancy. Don't ask me where we are. I'm lost too. Sorry. So you can keep hitting a lot of switches, and you'll keep going around in circles. I believe we should check out this room as first while we're at it. Whoop, that was not as good as I... I should not have done that. <laughs> Whoops. You can't walk down here with some nice little goodies to get. Everyone loves goodies. Also, how much freaking, like... I've barely gotten, like... Uh, I, I just have half of my bullets. And I've been using the rocket launcher this entire time, and yet I've still got, like, plenty of rocket launcher ammo. There's, a, there's something wrong with, like, the amount of ammo you get from things, you know? Also, are we back out here? We're supposed to go back out here? I guess we were. Oh, were we? Yeah, I think we were. Yeah. So now that we lowered a thing, now we can go to another part. And... I know, because... Flashy thing's pointing this way. And obviously, we're not going back here. Yeah, yeah, uh, pfft. bit of a brain fart, where are we going, uh, back down here, <laughs> consistent fade, yeah, hmm, I'm thinking maybe turning that is a good idea, Uh. 
completely lost. Nobody likes sewer levels. Nobody likes the sewer levels. Anyway, I think overall I do like this game quite a quite a bit. There's definitely a lot of problems, a lot of like you know '90s game design problems, but uh, for the most part, I think what it tries to do it does very well for its time out. Uh, yeah, nah. Uh, and definitely, yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Like just the whole almost open worldy thing, kind of puzzle solving. Uh, the weapons are cool. When we get to the kind of, kind of the need of weapons, uh, I'm gonna totally take a bit of damage on this one. I definitely took a lot of damage on that one. I'm just gonna revert that one because, uh, dude, I had a medium health kit and then I used three more small health kits on top of that, and I ended up with less health. That's yeah. See, if you didn't have the auto healing, you'd just be like dead from that immediately. There's gotta be, like... I'm completely lost, like, where on earth I'm supposed to be going. It's not... You don't go into the, the sewer water. But I turn that switch, and that should allow me... to... maybe it's back up here. Is it back up here? There we are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in here. So we got this guy, and he's all like... Pretty much locked tight. We got a couple of these things. But, uh, one thing you can do is, uh, open this up. There you go. This is another secret. Hooray! More secrets. And you can go in here. More, more of these kind of drone things. Flick the switch. And command, he's done it. The gates are open. Send in the shock troops. And tell Mesa we're coming in. We're coming in. So yeah, and I believe with that, ow, with that, I believe we can uh, just kind of head out by now. There's so many guys in the way. What is this? Why is this closed? Oh, because the gate's open. Another environmental suit. Ooh, mini missiles. <laughs> they gotta call them mini missiles because it's like, where are you putting them? There we go. Uh, oh, I gotta do the loop. The loop. Good exit point. Oh, we'd be back up there. So the teleporter that's right here. What am I thinking? What were they thinking? There we go. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, this is not quite where I was expecting to end up. I'm guessing this is leading. You, yeah, this leads you back into. Okay. Well, at least that's a good jump, but uh. Hmm. Oh wait, no, it's back up, it's back up. Oh, it's back down. Yeah, it's back down. I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, uh. And come on lift, come on lift, get me in there, get me in there. Ah. That's good. Now as long as there's not any up here. No! Ah! They're everywhere! Run! Run while you can! Ah, to the stairs! So yeah, anyway that was the sewer part. Just before we head off, I'm gonna head over here into the doctor's place. No, does he not give you anything? I think maybe he may as well give you something, but uh... Flamethrower! So anyway, now we got a flamethrower. Ammo for it is not the most common thing in the world, so I wouldn't use it like entirely, but but it, it can definitely come in handy. And while we're at it, let's just uh, head in here. 
just to finish things off. Because I don't know why, we're always ending the parts off in here, I guess. Uh, just before we go, I believe we can get... Yeah, this guy. Nope. Not quite. Nope. Alright, I think we gotta talk to Maisel just before we head off, I guess. Maybe. You've exceeded all our expectations. Because of your daring, our troops are on the move. I want you two to join the assault with a specific target. Take out the programmer. The programmer. It's time to reveal what we found out about this layer of the order. The oh. genetic mutations caused yeah. by the virus not only warp the psyches of the order, but cause their bodies to decay. What do you mean? <laughs> Without procreation, the yeah. order found that biomechanical enhancements were the only way to maintain their strength in numbers. The decay has advanced so that most of the troops we face are more machine than man. But we believe that their collective consciousness is controlled by one source. All the right. programmer, creator of the AI which controls the acolytes. Destroy the programmer and we may cripple the Order's troops with a single blow. But caution, we have reports he can vaporize attackers. Well, that's a problem. The programmer's lair is in the castle. Now, see the medic, grab some ammo, and go get him. Make sure you're ready for the fight of your life. No scrimping. Spend everything you've got. Okay. Fight for the front and freedom. Move out. Okay. So just before we head off, I'm just going to head over to the... to here, where this guy will... There you go, an accuracy upgrade, and of course, everyone's favorite, health upgrade. Uh, also, did they say spin up? I guess I'll spin up a little bit. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't sell medkits. In fact, they don't sell things, these guys. You seem to have enough. Oh well. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Strife, where we will be in for the fight of our life. I'll see you kids later. Bye-bye.